welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another official unboxing video. In this unboxing video, we are going to be unboxing the Impact PowerSync 16 wireless trigger unit. Now, there's two parts to a wireless trigger. You need the receiver, which will end up going into our light box here with our flash, and you need a transmitter, which ends up going on top of our camera, to transmit the signal to the flash. That's how a wireless receiver or wireless trigger works. This is a wireless trigger set. So let's go ahead, first of all, we're going to look at the uh, wireless receiver. I'll open it up here. And see what we have. We do have some batteries, which are very important. Neat batteries. We have the wireless trigger, or the wireless receiver unit itself. If you can see that, that is the wireless receiver. It does have a mounting hole in the back, so it can mount to your light stand. But as you've seen, we have the umbrella stand on there, so we need a way to mount this onto that umbrella stand. It comes with a sync cable. This is for your studio lights. It plugs into the wireless receiver, then into your studio lights to trigger those. So there's another uh, good point, something it'll work with. We have a little lanyard that you can actually carry it around with. There you go there. That's a little lanyard you can carry this thing around with. We have some washers, in case you need some spacers for these little guys. And these little guys are just uh, little hot shoes or cold shoes because there's no uh, electronic components or technology through these. So these are little cold shoes. So there you have that. So to put this together, all we have to do, we have to open this up. First I would suggest to see where your battery compartment is because sometimes they put it right where you have to open it up at. Okay, the first thing you need to know is how to slide your battery cover off. It's right in the bottom where the actual screw mount is. Just push down and it will come off. You can put two AA batteries in here. The two AA batteries that come with it. There we go. Go ahead and mount the batteries. Go ahead and slide this back on. Then it's secured back on the bottom. Now what's really nice about this set of triggers, and I did a lot of research on these two folks before I bought these, I don't do anything else, I research it, is that it has an on and off switch on both this receiver as well as the trigger itself. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to screw on, we're going to screw on our little cold shoe mount here. Now this one is plastic and I do recommend that you buy a metal one. I already ordered a metal one just to have it. And I tighten that down a little bit. And then what you're going to do with this is you're going to put this into your actual soft box. So we're going to do that now. I always like to make sure I know where the flash is going to go first on it. How's it going to go on it? It's a very snug fit. That's how it goes on it. And you can adjust the channels. This has 16 channels. It's a 16 channel set. So that's how it goes on. It doesn't go in this way. So it has to go in this way. Alright. So we're going to put it in here. We're going to snug that down, then we're going to put our flash back on top of it. And then we're going to lock our flash down. Now that you have your wireless receiver set up, it's okay and it's ready to go ahead. It's ready to open up your wireless transmitter. So this one also comes with a sync cord. And this is more or less if you have to hook this into your camera, into your camera sync. That's what this is for. 
And then this little guy right here is the one that actually goes on top of the camera itself. We're going to try to leave it on the default channels and see if it'll work. And as I see already, just by pushing the test trigger right here, there's a little test trigger. Here's the power switch on the transmitter. And if I push this, you can see already the flash works. It's recycling very fast because my flash is on one eighth power right now, so it's pretty low power setting. So I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to go ahead and mount this on a camera. So here's my camera, and I just mount this right on the hot shoe. It's very simple. Couldn't get much easier than that, huh? And you just tighten it down, turn it on, turn your camera on, and you're ready to go. And as you can see, we have a flash. These, from what I've researched, are supposed to be 100% reliable. Um, they do cost a little bit more than some other wire triggers. I have another wire trigger set here uh, that I've used for uh, probably about a year and a half, I guess. Um, these are known as eBay triggers. They cost me about 20 bucks. Well, these ones will set you back about, you know, about 100 or so. Um, see if I can drop my settings here a little bit and uh, check my ISO setting. Why it's at 640, I don't know. Check the auto focus is on. So it seems like it's going to be very reliable for me. Um, they say they'll do 200 feet outside and 590 some feet inside. Let's just get the whole effect here. Let's just uh, drop this panel back down. Our flash is in there the way we would have it if we go out to shoot somewhere. Here's the soft box. We will uh, buck all these down. You can see the soft box has, uh, you can see the little red light in there so you know that your flash is ready to go. Turn your camera on and start shooting away. And there you have it. So, couldn't get any easier than that. Again, these are Impact, it's called the Impact Power Sync 16. And uh, the Apollo Softbox. You've seen the unboxing before this one. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed these unboxing videos. And again, these are just strictly um, to help you make better purchasing uh, decisions. And we'll see what kind of pictures this thing takes and uh, how well we can do with it here. There we go. Thanks for watching uh, Jack's Tech Corner. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you here and comment on this and all the other videos. Take care, and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.